getting ready to do a pre-trip on this uh, bus, do a full pre-trip. Uh, the first thing I want to do is check underneath the bus to make sure that the bus is not leaning in any way, which would indicate a broken spring or a flat tire. I also want to look underneath to make sure that the bus is not leaking. At the top of the bus, I have three amber clearance lights in the middle. I have one clearance light, red, uh, amber clearance light on the left side and one amber clearance light on the right side. I also have two red eight ways and two amber eight ways. I have two amber turn hazard lights and two clear loading uh, headlights. Uh, my lenses are not damaged and they are all secured to the bus. At the top I have a school bus decal and I also have two amber reflectors. They're not damaged, they're not, they're not, they're not peeling, there's no bubbles and they are secured to the bus. Checking my windshield, make sure my windshield is not damaged. It um, doesn't have any illegal stickers on it and it is secured to the bus. Checking the window seals to ensure that the window seals are not damaged, there's no dry rot. The window seals are also secured to the bus. Checking my wiper blades to ensure that they're not damaged, they're not cracked, there's no dry rot and they are secured to the bus. Checking the spring to ensure that the spring is not damaged, it's not rusted, and it is secure. I would also check the tension on the windshield to ensure that it has proper tension. I would check both wipers the same way. I would then check my mirrors to ensure that my mirrors are not damaged and they are secure. I would check them all the same way. Checking my crossing gate to ensure that my crossing gate retracts properly and it is secured to the bus. Opening this compartment to check my radiator, I would check to make sure that the radiator is not leaking, there's no illegal wells, there's no puddles underneath, and it is secure. Checking the hoses and all the couplings to make sure that, the, that they are all secure um, and there's no dry rot, no leaks, no puddles. I would also check my coolant reservoir. If this reservoir had a sight glass, I would check it that way, but since it doesn't have one, I would wait till the engine cooled and remove the cap and check my coolant level that way. On this side of the, in this compartment here, behind this wall, I have a power steering pump and it is internally gear driven. I also have a power steering reservoir. I would check it to make sure that it is between add and full. I have a master cylinder or brake uh, fluid reservoir. It is full. I also have a um, windshield reservoir. Uh, it is also full. All the hoses and couplings are secure. There's no dry rot. There's no leaks. There's no puddles. This is my gearbox. My gearbox is connected to the drag link, the pitman arm, and the tie rod. They are all secure with nuts, bolts, and cotter pins, and the joints and sockets are also secure. On this side of the bus, I would check my service door to ensure my service door is operating properly, the hinges are working good, uh, the glass is not damaged, and it is secure. Checking the window seals and the door seals to ensure that they are not damaged and they are secured to the bus. Checking the floor tread to make sure that the floor tread on my steps are not, is not damaged, they're not peeling, there's no bubbles, they are secure. I have one clear step light, it is not damaged and it is secure. I would also check my handrails to make sure that my handrails are secure. Uh, there's nothing uh, there's no obstructions that would uh, uh, trip the uh, students. I have um, three um, amber uh, triangles in this box here and they are secure. I have a first aid kit that contains no less than nine items in it. If this bus ran on fuses, the extras would be in here. But this bus is ran on a circuit breaker that is located outside the driver's window. I also have a fire extinguisher. I would make sure that it is in the green. Once a week I would remove it 
and turn it upside down and shake it. Up here at the top I have a body fluid kit. It is secure and it is fully stocked. It contains insurance information and uh, uh, em emergency information. Opening the doghouse. I would check my alternator that is located up at the front of the right of the engine. I would make sure that it is secure with nuts and bolts. There are no loose wires. I would check my water pump. Um, it is secure with nuts and bolts. Uh, the hoses and couplings are secure. There's no dry rot. There's no leaks. There's no puddles. I also have a serpentine belt that is connected to the water pump and the alternator. And its main function is to recharge the battery and um, the serpentine belt is not cut, it's not frayed, it is not damaged, it is secure, and it has no less than a half an inch uh, to three quarter inch play. I would also check my oil um, uh, dipstick here. It should be between add and full. Uh, the overall condition of the engine is good. There's uh, no leaks, there's no puddles. Hoses and couplings are secure. Uh, no dry rot, no loose wires. In the driver compartment, I would check my seat to make sure my seat is secure with nuts and bolts. I would also check the floor tread to ensure that it is safe. Uh, it's not damaged. Uh, there's no bubbles. It's not peeling. Sitting in the driver compartment, I would check my window, my windshield to ensure that it is not damaged. Uh, there's no illegal stickers on it and it is secure. Checking the window seals to make sure that the window seals are secure. Uh, there's no dry rot. Uh, I'll have uh, two flat mirrors, two convex mirrors, and two crossover mirrors. Uh, they're not damaged and they are properly secure and adjusted for me. I also have a student mirror that is adjusted so that I can see as many heads as possible and it is not damaged. Um, at this time I'm going to perform a brake booster check by pumping the brake three times and on the third time I'm going to hold it down for about five seconds to ensure that it is not spongy and does not go completely to the floor. I am now going to perform a safe start by checking my ABS light to ensure that it goes on, comes on and goes off in a timely manner. I would check my lights. They are on. I would check my high beams. The blue indicator shows that the high beams are working. I would uh, check my left turn signal on and off. I would check my right turn signal on and off. I would check my four-way flashers on and off. I would also check my door to make sure that it opens and closes properly, and it does. I would uh, check my amber eight ways by activating the amber eight way switch. The yellow indicator light shows that the amber eight ways are working. I would open up my door. My amber eight ways would change to red eight ways. My crossing gate would come out, and I had two stop signs. I would also check to make sure that the red lights are flashing. I would shut the door to deactivate. I would check my dome lights. Left dome lights on and off. Right dome lights on and off. And driver's dome light on and off. The lenses are clear and color. They're not damaged and they are secure. I would also do um, an emergency brake check by placing my foot on the brake pedal, shifting it into drive, and leaving the emergency brake pedal on, and accelerating the engine to 1100 RPMs to ensure that it holds, and it does. I would also check my service brake by leaving it in drive, removing the uh, emergency brake, and driving up to five miles an hour and stepping on the brake to check my service brake.
Okay, um, on this side of the panel I have uh, mirror adjustments for the left side and the right side. I also have a mirror defrost on and off. Um, here I have my light switch. Uh, here I have driver's fans, low, high, and off. I have a uh, noise suppression switch on and off. I have a strobe light that's located on top of the bus. It's on and off. I have air conditioned switches, uh, front air condition, low, high, and off. Rear low air condition, low, high, and off. On this panel here, I have a, a driver's heater, low, high, and off. I have uh, two front heaters, low, high, and off, and two rear heaters, low, high, and off. And below here, I have a, a control switch for my defrost. I have a therm thermostat control for the heating and cooling. I have a, a adjustment for my de defrost and also fresh air. Okay, I would also check my steering wheel to make sure that I have no more than two inches of play in a 20 inch steering wheel. Uh, my steering uh, wheel is also internally gear driven. I would check the horn to make sure that it works. Okay, uh, stepping out of the driver compartment, I would now check my student compartment. I would check the floor tread to make sure that the floor tread is safe it's not damaged it's not peeling there's no bubbles i would check the seats the bottoms and the tops to ensure that they are secure with nuts and bolts and i would check the rest of them the same way at the back of the bus i would check my emergency door to make sure that the alarm works i also have Four emergency windows, two in the back and two in the front. I have two roof hatches, one in the back and one in the front. Okay, and as I Move to the front of the bus, I would check my windows to make sure my windows are uh, secure, they're not damaged. I would also check my seats to make sure that there's no hazards, no exposed wires. As I make my way to the front of the bus, I would remove the key and step outside the bus. Okay, on the side of the bus, I would, I have two amber clearance lights on the top and one red clearance light at the back. I also have an amber turn hazard light. I have a clear loading light. The lenses are not damaged, they're not cracked, they're not broken, and they are secure to the bus. I would also check my windows to make sure my windows are not damaged, uh, not cracked or broken, they are secure. I have two amber reflectors, one in the front, one in the middle, and a red one at the back. I would also check all of the reflector tape to ensure that it is not damaged and uh, not peeling. There's no bubbles. I have a DEF reservoir. I would check it to make sure it is full, and I also check to make sure that the cap is secure. There's no leaks. There's no puddles. Uh, on the front wheel here, I would check my lead springs to make sure my lead springs are not damaged and they are secure with nuts and bolts. I would also check my U-bolts to make sure that the U-bolts are secure with nuts and bolts. There's no damage. I would check my spring mounts to make sure both front and back to make sure that they're not damaged and they are secure with nuts and bolts. Checking the shock absorber to ensure that it is not damaged. Uh, it's not leaking. There's no puddles. It is secure with nuts and bolts. I would also check the ABS sensor and the brake line 
to ensure and the couplings to ensure that they are all secure. Uh, there's no dry rot, there's no leaks, and there are no puddles. On my tire, I would check my tire for even wear. Uh, I should have uh, no less than four thirty seconds of tread depth. Recaps are not allowed on the front. I would also check the tire wall to make sure that the tire wall is not damaged. There's no bubbles, there's no exposed wires. I would check my valve stem to ensure that the valve stem is not leaking. It has a cap on it. It is secure and I would check it with a tire pressure gauge. I would check my wheel to make sure my wheel is not damaged. There's no illegal wells. It is secure. Checking the lug nuts to make sure that the lug nuts are secure. There's no excessive rust. There's no shininess that would indicate a loose lug nut. I would check my hub seal. Checking my hub seal, making sure that it is secure with nuts and bolts. It is not leaking and there are no puddles. Checking my rotor for even wear making sure that it's smooth there's no oil or grease on it and it is secure checking my brake caliper to ensure that it is secure with nuts and bolts and it has uh, no less than a quarter inch of brake pad okay checking my mud flap to make sure my mud flap is secure it is not dragging the ground Checking underneath the bus, I would check to make sure that the dry shaft is not twisted or bent and it is secure. I would also check my exhaust system to make sure the exhaust system is secure with nuts and bolts and uh, couplings. Uh, there's no leaks, no excessive suit that would indicate a leak. I would also check my frame to make sure my frame is not damaged. It is, uh, there's no illegal wells, and it is properly secured with nuts and bolts and cross members. Also, my dry shaft is connected with universal joints, and it is secure. Back here at the back, I would check my lead springs, like I did the front, both front and back, uh, to ensure that they're not damaged and they are secure. Checking the U-bolts to make sure that they are secure with nuts and bolts. There's no damage. I would also check my spring mounts to make my sure my spring mounts are not damaged and they are secure with nuts and bolts. Checking my um, torque arm to make sure the torque arm is secure, it is not damaged. Uh, I would also check my shock absorber uh, behind the wheel here. Uh, the shock absorber is not damaged, it is not leaky, there's no puddles. Uh, I would also check my ABS sensor and brake line to ensure that there's not that they are not damaged. There's no dry rot. Couplings are secure. Uh, uh, there's no leaks and there's no puddles. I would also check my tire trip at the back. I have dualies in the back. I would check for even wear. I should have no less than two thirty seconds of tread dip. Recaps are allowed on the back. I would also check the butt spacing between the two tires to make sure there's nothing trapped in between that could cause a fire. I would check the tire wall as I did on the, on the front wheel to ensure that the tire wall is not damaged. There's no bubbles, uh, there's no exposed wires, and it is secure. Once again, I would check the valve stem and like I did the front to make sure that it is not leaking. It has a cap on it and I would check the tire pressure with a tire pressure gauge. I would also check the wheel to make sure that the wheel is not damaged. There's no illegal wells and it is secure. Checking the hub seal to ensure that it is secure with nuts and bolts and it is not leaking and there are no puddles. I would also check the lug nuts back here to make sure that the lug nuts are secure. Uh, no shininess, no excessive rust to ind indicate a loose lug nut. I would also check the rotors to ensure that the rotors have a smooth finish, no oil or grease on them, and they are secure. I would also check the brake caliper uh, like I did the front to make sure that it is secure with nuts and bolts, uh, and it has at least a quarter inch of brake pad on it. 
I would also check my mud flap to make sure my mud flap is not damaged, it is not dragging the ground, and it is secure. Checking my fuel cap to ensure that it is secure. Uh, hoses and couplings are secure. There's no dry rot. There's no leaks. There's no puddles. Underneath here is my fuel cage and fuel tank. I would check my fuel, uh, fuel. I would check those components to ensure that they're not leaking. There's no puddles, and they are secure with nuts and bolts. At the back of the bus, I have three red clearance lights. I have one on the passenger side and one on the driver's side. I also have two red eight ways, two amber eight ways, two amber turn hazard lights, two large red brake lights, two small red brake lights, two clear reverse lights, and two clear license plate lights. Uh, the lenses are not cracked or damaged, and they are all secured to the bus. I also have a school bus decal and reflector tape, including the two red reflectors back here, and they are uh, not damaged, no bubbles, not peeling, secured to the bus. I would also check my windows to make sure that my windows are not damaged. Uh, they are secure. Uh, checking the window seals. To ensure that the window seals are not damaged, uh, no dry rot, also secure to the bus. I would check my uh, exhaust pipe to ensure that it extends beyond the bus uh, so that it won't allow any fumes into the bus. Uh, I would open the door to check my door to make sure that the hinges are working properly. I would also check to make sure that the latch holds, and it does. I would check my window back here. To ensure that my window are, uh, uh, are not damaged. I would also check the window seals to make sure they're not damaged uh, along with the uh, uh, door seal. There's no dry rot, uh, no damage. Uh, it is secure. I would also ensure that it, were, uh, that it is secure to uh, prevent any exhaust fumes from entering the bus. On this side of the bus, I would check it the same way as I did the other side of the bus, including the rear and front tire. I would also check my stop signs to ensure that they retract properly, and they do, and I would check the red lenses to make sure that they're not damaged and they are secure. And checking the front one the same way. Damaged and it is secure, and the red lenses are not damaged. And I would also check my driver's mirror to make sure that it is secure, it's not damaged, and is properly adjusted for me. And that's it.